Hey guys, Martina here. Today we are talking REC. I wanna give you a little update as far as what's new with the company and what new products we can expect in the coming months and years. As you know, REC panels were featured in my top five panels of 2022, and they are premium panels that I still highly, highly recommend. There are some compatibility concerns, but nothing major, and we will touch on that later, so make sure to watch the whole video. I will also stamp the timeline for you again so you can skip to the interview if this is why you're here today. So like in my previous QCell video, and they're 29% efficient panels, <laughs> I wanna give you a little short background story on the company itself and why REC panels became such a highly requested panel. Just as a reminder, make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a big like. It takes only seconds for you to do it, but it does so much more for me. So yeah, like, do it now. <laughs> Did you do it? Thank you. <laughs> okay, so who is REC? Well, they were founded in 1996 in Norway, and over the years, the company was purchased by larger companies, but currently their headquarters are located in Singapore, and they have offices all around the world. And this is definitely a plus for me and you as a potential buyer, as they are not just relying on one market alone. REC became very well known for pioneering their half-cut cell technology in 2014, and many solar manufacturers follow suit in designing their panels in that fashion as well. We honestly don't see full cell panels anymore, so this became a standard for the residential market. Currently, they have a pretty large line of products, but my favorites are Alpha Pure and Alpha Pure R series. They use heterojunction technology, or HJT, solar cell technology, which is known for better power density and high performance. And word pure in the name indicates that these panels are lead free, meaning lower carbon footprint and no toxic leakage after panels are recycled, which some people have actually raised as a concern in the past, you know, like it's all green and cool now having panels, but what will happen in 25, 30, or 50 years with all those panels? So, you know, if this is one of the concerns for you, REC Pure Series will give you peace of mind. Currently, Alpha Pure Series offer panels ranging from 390 up to 410 watts, and their newest line, Alpha Pure R, goes all the way up to 430 watts. REC panels are well known for two major advantages, in my opinion, and the first one being their triple warranty, so product, pr product production and labor warranty for 25 years, and this one will definitely help if your installer goes belly up and one of your panels needs replacement. Under that warranty, REC says they'll cover the labor cost for you. Just make sure your installer is REC certified and registers your product. And the second advantage, my personal favorite, is their temperature coefficient. And this rating is one of the best among any panel in the world, even better than Maxion solar panels. These two points have convinced many, many people to pay a premium price for these panels. And I have to say, they perform better than other competitors. That's not just data sheet talking. These are actual numbers I see every day from my customers and I personally have them on my roof too. <laughs> but hey, I'm not being paid for this by REC. This is like, you know, real world experience here. And I don't think I have to mention their high efficiency since they are premium panels. So if you're working with limited roof space, you will not go wrong with REC. The only small issue I have is the fact that their newest line of panels, Alpha Pure R, is not compatible with IQ8 microinverter series. They just can't handle the input voltage of those panels just yet. We're waiting for newer M-Phase models coming out soon, but I guess REC is just a bit ahead of the game, which is not a bad thing. The others are just a little bit late. <laughs> So if you would like to use Enphase Micros, you still can, you just have to use Alpha Pure or other options from their product line. Which is really not a bad idea if you think about it, considering the max AC output of the IQ8H Enphase highest rated microinverter is 380 watts. So whether you use a 410, 415, or 20, the output is not gonna be more than the rated AC output. And a lot of installers use IQ8 Plus, which is rated at 300 watts. So I see you, don't do it. Don't install 400 watt panels with IQ8 
plus. I mean, unless it's east and west, then I get it. <laughs> but that's a topic for another video. Getting back to RAC. They are definitely my top panels for 2023 as well. And I hope you enjoy watching the short interview I did with Brian at Intersolar in Germany. I've known Brian from REC for quite some time now. So we've seen each other at like Intersolar North America or RE+. So this was definitely a nice American touch to see a familiar face in Germany. But yeah, let's get to it and see what is coming in 2024 for REC. Because a lot of the time when we quote people in Dallas, we want to quote them a string inverter option and we quote them an emphase option, right? right, right. So it is making it a little bit complicated now because I'm quoting string with four tens, yep. but for emphase I'm quoting 400 or 395, right? Right, right? But I did talk with Brian from REC as well and he said that 420s, no, you said four tens four are ten. four tens are available alpha pure, not pure R. Correct. Now then we also have pure R series and they go up to? They go up to 420 today and it will be 430 at the end of the year. At the end of the year. Yeah. Okay, so great. And that efficiency is going to be what? 22.3. 22.3. Pretty good. And this is their newest, newest thing. Nanolite. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, so this will be out uh, early part of next year. Uh -huh. uh, this is pure RX. Uh, so we're still using the same wafer that we used with Pure R. Sure. Uh, and we have an extra row. Uh, now it's 44 cells. Uh, and this goes up to 470 watts. Yeah. Um, and 470 like, watt black on black panel. Ain't that beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> all black, still using all head black. reduction. Uh, yes. And we still have our 30 millimeter frame and all the things that you're used to. What will be the, the highest efficiency of that panel? We will get some 480s that will be 23%. 23%. Yeah, we, we have, in the laboratory, now, we've been able now, to get above 23, but. Now we, we, do, we, please don't expect this. <laughs> Q1 of 2024, no, 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 that, like. <laughs> yeah, that, that will take some time, but sometime next year, we yeah. should be able to get that. Sure, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Cool. So we're very excited about this one. This is our newest line, uh, and this will be coming out of Singapore. Okay. Um, and available. And it's going to be called PureRx. PureRx. What, where is that naming coming from? So it's kind of silly. We <laughs> added an extra row. And okay. So we just row. Pure, yeah. Well, X for extra. A X for extra. <laughs> Row for different rows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pure R was the. It's the next evolution, right? <laughs> so the the chronology goes. The pure is on an M4 plus wafer, which is uh -huh. a little thinner yeah. or a little uh, narrower. Uh, pure R is on a G12 wafer, which is wider. Yes. And Pure RX is one more row. One row. Just slightly cells. bigger. Kind of like your extra large module. <laughs> <laughs> extra large of the residential. Yeah, I was just saying, you're not going to find many 470s yes, in the residential no. space. Uh, yeah, most. Most modules that are getting to that nameplate are much, much bigger. Yeah. Um, and so we, we think this will be a big winner, particularly in Texas where you've got big roofs. Yes, uh huh. Right? Um, and it's got the best in class temperature coefficients. That was gonna say, you, yeah. you just got that. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say that if they're still gonna have the best negative point. It's uh, actually improved. 24. But yeah, exactly. 24, yeah. okay, that's awesome. No, and these panels do do well in Texan hail because of that extra support. I don't know if you will be able to see it. Maybe I can move yeah, yeah. it. Uh, it stops. You can, but there is basically that that extra support in the back right here, so they can they don't bend as much as other panels do. So yep. we tried. Thank you guys. Thanks guys. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to see you. <laughs> so this is the second largest solar conference in the world. Uh, this is my third time being here. Um, and uh, yeah, you have all the manufacturers, all the power electronics, all of the storage. Uh, this has really been the central piece of the solar industry for as long as it's been around. Yeah. Uh, if you ever have a chance to come out to Munich and uh, you're a solar nerd, this is the best place yep. to be. It's like an international show. That's yeah, yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. everybody in the world. Yeah. And we, how many halls are there here? There's eight different exhibit halls. Yeah. Uh, and each one is massive. So we're in A2, yeah. which I think there might actually be more than that. So yeah, yeah. There, there's, <laughs> it takes you two full days to walk yes. the entire event. Yep. There's 15. 15 different halls. Yes. All so right. I know. I only stay here. Well, that, yeah, good for you. Yeah. I'm going to deal with my heel walking. That's why we have our yeah. REC shoes. Yeah. Right? I need one pair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome.